eight, Tyler and Nathan Wong here. Super excited to be with, here with the crew. And it looks like a couple of the boys, though, didn't get the uniform colour call. But it's all right, guys. Let's kick it off. Oh, <laughs> Tonight on kickoff, we shake things up on the show with a new set and new guests. We say say la vie to Super Rugby and instead wax lyrical about the international season. It's all about the Black Ferns and the Māori All Blacks. We talk rookies, New Zealand's Fijian connection, and apparently a tired Akira Ioane gets the start. Eat your heart out, Steve Hansen. Plus, did I mention we've got music royalty in the house with Kings jamming live on the show. As always, surprises, dad jokes, and some questionable chat. Let's kick it off. A very good evening and welcome into kickoff for another week. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, you may have noticed a few of our regulars, they are gone, but you'll know why a little bit later on in the show. For the meantime, though, we've welcomed back Nehi Milna Scudder. Great to have you here. And a very new person to our team, Tyler Nathan Wong. Great to have you here. Thank you. It's good to be here. It's been about a month since you finished the Seven Series in style. What have you been up to? I haven't been up to much, actually. It's been really, really nice just to have a break. It was a big season, you know. We came away with a win, which we were super excited with. Got the qualification for the Olympics, too. So now it's time to, to rest the body, enjoy some family time, and then start again next month. Whenever uh, someone opens a show, we always judge everyone. <laughs> How do you think Tyler did on this one? Bloody nailed it, if you ask it me. better than the rehearsal, because I got all wet from the, <laughs> the cup. She didn't quite nail it, because I wanted her to get a little bit closer to his face. <laughs> no, she got that bit wrong, but no, pretty good effort. Good effort, Thanks. good effort. OK, well, we're sort of doing a little bit of an awards show, a little bit at the top anyway. We've got the best of, and we're starting off with, well, best of the lids this year. We're talking about shockers and the not-so-shockers. Take a look at these. Shocker. Uh, dreads. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't mind them. Yeah. Dreads, dreads don't off. mind them. A little yeah. bit long. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's there. That's a Japanese <laughs> fade. <laughs> oh, big hangover. That one. <laughs> a big hangover. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a goodie for me. That... Rugby is a beautiful game. So be beautiful. We couldn't go past having that one in there again, can we? Remember Tom Robinson was on the show, he got stitched up, that was a prank. He thought he had a commercial opportunity <laughs> and he was going to get paid by Redkin and it was all a joke. Yeah, but he did a pretty good job of it, didn't he? <laughs> nah. nah, good on him, I think he yeah, nailed it. Hopefully he got a few sponsors jumping on board, Redkin. All about it, eh, sponsors? <laughs> 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 OK, well, we move on to some of the big hits. We're not talking about sing-songs, we're talking about these smashed and bro moments. Oh, oh. Good night. <laughs> That's the biggest one of the year, eh? That one there yeah. was unexpected. This... From Sevu. Yeah, yeah, but he's a small man, but <laughs> strong. But Israel keeps going on about his body, saying that he's, he's quite ripped. Well, as he's had a few oh. of these hits on oh, him yeah, in the days. Speakman there, don't go near the forwards. Yeah. Oh. What do you reckon about these? It's always a tough them? one, eh? When you yeah. when you yeah. yeah. look at the pass yeah. and then that guy sneaks up on you and, and belts you. This is always good from a fullback, eh? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, little ones, mate. mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have the drive out. See, when the Ford bit. comes through and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, how about the fails? I'm sure everyone's had some of these, whether it's a try fail or just an all-round brain fart, really. Yeah. These are the best of fails of the season. Those minty moments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a few of the, there's a few shockers in here. Hey. Oh, almost oh. certainties. He was almost flipping the score to try already, eh? Celebrating. No, I, think what, I think this one wins. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Not from the All Blacks, Skippy. Yeah, he you probably just turns around and goes, cares, we won the championship. <laughs> we won Super Rugby anyway. How about this one, though? <coughs> the newly minted All Black, Brayden Eno, and his teammates' reaction. Bryn! Sad. You know he's Sad not from Bryn. Eh? <laughs> Sad from Bryn, I reckon. Agree with those? Disagree? Is there any ones that you want to add to the list? No, but he was always taught at a young age, the rugby ball, dive on it when it's on the ground, eh? No, I'd probably No, try. you would never yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dancing try. feet, no, dancing feet. I never scored the tries, so I never had an opportunity. <laughs> OK, well, now that we've got the best ofs out of the way, let's take a look at your weekend. Three games on, no more Super Rugby, but there is a Ranfurly Shield Challenge match. It's Otago taking on Thames Valley and Wanaka, 2pm on Saturday. Fiji against the Māori All Blacks, that's in Suva. And, of course, you've got the Black Ferns in action taking on England. That's on Monday morning, 7.30am. 
But we're going to go into our big game in Subra. It's going to be around 26 degrees over there for the Māori All Blanks taking on Fiji. And it's been 62 years since the Flying Fijians have got a win over the Māori All Blanks. It is going to be a very tough task for them. But they've been running the sand dunes to try and get fit for this one. Let's take a look at the team list. And, well, there's a very formidable side, this Māori All Blanks. They have a ton of experience. And the forwards, Isaiah Walker, Leah Wede and Tom Franklin. Not a bad looking combination. Combination yeah, and pretty good uh, Super Rugby seasons they've had this, this year so far. So exciting um, bunch of guys, real hard working lads as well with a little bit of X factors. So looking forward to that. How they go in the heat, that'll be a big challenge for them. That will be a challenge. If we look at the backs, Fletcher Smith, he'll make his debut from fullback. What stands out to you in the backs, Tyler? Uh, well, they got the experience there at half with um, Tahu Re Orangi. Mm. And then um, looking at Sean Stevenson too, because I'm pretty sure we used to play touch with each other back in the day for North Harbour. Did you carve him up? Oh, we're same team, same team oh. there, so. <laughs> he was lucky then, he was lucky, he got away with it. And if we take a look at the reserves here, well, Nathan Harris, he's another one of these debutants for the Māoris, but not lacking experience at all. Yeah, and it's not just him, but a couple others have got really something to play for in these couple of games against the Fijians, you know, because that World Cup carrot is just hanging about, so... They've got to perform. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on, about the All Blacks coming back into this environment. Nehi, you've played for the Māori All Blacks. What's it like going from the All Blacks environment and the professionalism around that and into your culture and the Māori All Blacks? Yeah, no, I loved um, you know, my time with the Māori All Blacks. I think it's pretty special. I think both environments are pretty similar. You know, they're, they're high performing and um, set some pretty high standards. But, uh, you know, to be amongst the boys of, of Māori um, ethnicity and you learn about your culture, your whakapapa, where you're from, um, there's probably a lot more wata and haka practice in the Māori set up, which is always choice, and get some of the new boys into the um, fold a little bit um, quicker makes them a bit uncomfortable, but, you know, it brings the group together as well, so it's quite cool. Well, let's talk about some of those new kids on the blocks because there are quite a few debutants in this team. Alex Nankville, Māori name? Corey Jane, Māori name. <laughs> <laughs> Played for them in 2006, so, yeah. He's good, he's good. And Tasman had a good season with the, uh, with the Chiefs as well. Uh, Fletcher Smith, uh, we all know how handy he is. And this big man out in the wing. He's yeah, a big, big man. lad. Hey. Jordan Highland. Fletcher Smith is in there as well. For these new guys, though, like, what's the toughest thing about coming into this environment? Is it getting up and doing your mahi for someone that doesn't know it? Is it learning the waiatas, learning the haka? What is it about? Yeah, probably 100%. That's the most daunting um, <laughs> I guess experience first up is, you know, I sort of back myself a little bit with my mahi growing up in that space, but even I was like nervous as hell. And so uh, for some of the boys, that, but that's the cool thing as well. Um, you learn about your roots and, and where you're from. And so you get to speak about your iwi and to get up in front of the boys as well. It's, um, <laughs> it's a tough gig. How'd you go? <laughs> he was uh, bragging in the green bad. room. It he was wasn't too bad. I, when the songs were on, I was, you know, you just open your mouth and <laughs> to start off until you start getting the rhythm and the rhyme and then you can start, you know. But when you first start, it's a bit scary. You better give us a wee demo since you said you were so good. You said you nailed it. Yeah, but that was a long time ago, uh, 2006, so I haven't had practice. Um, but it wasn't too bad. <laughs> OK, well, we are going <laughs> humblest All Black and Māori All Black to ever have played the game. We're going to move oh. on to Akira Ioane. He's starting this weekend in jersey number eight. Is he the unluckiest player going around at the moment, Tyler? Yeah, I think he is. I think he, like... I think he played most minutes um, in Super Rugby, so pretty unlucky, but it'll be good to see him go out there against Fiji and just to show everyone what he really is about. Well, that's the thing, right? Steve Hansen has come out and said that he's tired and he's unfit, but he's played almost every game and minute of Super Rugby for the Blues over the last two seasons. We see here on the stats, they've been massive. Yeah, they've been huge, haven't they? And he's had a big number of minutes for the, for the Blues. And obviously, you know, Steve feels, you know, there's other parts of his game that he hasn't sort of quite um, got right. But I'd be interested to know, I mean, a lot of guys that go into that environment after the disappointment of missing out in the, the all-black jersey. Yeah, the carrot's still there, but sort of what's the sort of mindset that they go into in, um, in, in um, making sure that they get things right? Oh, I reckon he'll destroy it over the next couple of weeks. You know, he's obviously got a point to prove, and with all the comments and all the chat that's come out about him, you know, he's, he's one of those players that'll back up and he'll show you what he's capable of in the next two weeks. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see that. OK, well, we're going to move on to the Fijian connection and also the Hurricanes connection. We're talking about the locks, and it's Isaiah walker Lewedi. It's from Rotoria. Your mum teaches in Rotoria. You must know of this kid, apart from being at the Hurricanes. <sighs> yeah, and obviously his old man is an absolute legend of Fijian rugby and Ngāti Coast Rugby. Um, 
And for him to, especially this year, you know, there were a few boys that left the Canes environment, um, Michael Fatelofa and Sam Lousy, they got injured, so there's some big boots to fill. But, um, you know, the way he went about his work, uh, pretty good ball in hand, but I think on, on defence, you know, he really got stuck in. And, um, yeah, it's awesome to see him go, go into the Maldives set up as well. CJ's not commenting. You're a bit dark on him at the moment. No, no, no. I thought he was brilliant. And, uh, well, he's gone to Hawke's Bay. Uh, <laughs> the Lions, but, mm, but I thought he was brilliant in the back end of the Hurricanes. Very physical. His work rate was high. And he really kind of stamped that mark for kind of next year um, to go in there and be the starting lock. OK, what about bringing the All Blacks experience into the setup? We're talking about guys like Nathan Harris, Terrell Lomax, Bryn Hall and Te Toido Tahure Orangi. Bringing these guys back, what a boost. How lucky are they? Yeah, experience is massive in any team. It doesn't matter what team you're playing for. Experience, you know, outweighs everything and, almost. And where it sort of probably comes into play is because you've got a short week, you know, preparation, and you, know, you talk about the stuff off the field and making sure that you know, you're getting your roots right um, and, and, and also sort of talking in front of the boys. But preparation in terms of game plans and stuff, that's where your experienced guys come in because they'll obviously set how, how they're going to play and certain moves and things and that's so to make sure the structure's right. So experience in, um, of those guys is key. This has got to be tough for Fiji. Obviously they want these two games because they're building towards the Rugby World Cup but they're playing an All Blacks B team really. Yeah, it'll be tough but a couple of years ago when the Maldives played them it was a close game anyway so I mean they'll be up for it. They need this hard games to go into the World Cup anyway so um, they'll be relishing the opportunity especially at home. Huge for them. All right, my kickoff crew, I would love to be there. I know you're missing me. Unfortunately, I couldn't. I'm not going to be there for CJ's last gig because you know what? I'm at Origin, game three, baby. New South Wales versus Queensland. I actually got CJ a ticket. I just forgot to give it to him. Unfortunate, <laughs> cuz. We love you. See you soon. Get off the blues. Konnichiwa, Fano. Just over here in Japan, Tokyo. Uh, chilling out, uh, just getting some ramen with the locals, but I uh, just thought I'd touch base and say good day. Uh, it was a great weekend of celebrations with the Lairs one last time. Uh, sad times, but excited for the next chapter with the Sky team. So, uh, hope you're all having a great show, and listeners, hope you'll be back soon. I'm just in uh, CJ's hometown, Rapongi, so I better go. Take care. Oh, g'day, Kirsty and the kickoff team. Joe Wills here from uh, Suntory Sun Goliath headquarters once again. Now, rumour is that Izzy Dag has uh, carried on the celebrations from the Crusaders' victory and he's made his way to Tokyo. So, obviously, in Japan, we like to prepare for a, uh, a good old blues up. And, well, the Crusaders boys got it done. They were wearing ski goggles. I don't have any ski goggles, but I've got the uh, swimming goggles. And I'm off to the onsen with the boys. <laughs> yeah, maybe that should have come with a little warning, but I mean, it is 8.30 and it was a little bit cheeky from Joey. Just as well, Joey's clip came on straight after Israel's because I think everyone was falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did he, hey, did he say he's, he's looking forward to the new Sky gig or something like that? Didn't he not get that email that he's, he's not to come back? <laughs> 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 You're in Japan. <laughs> gone. You are gone. OK, well, the Black Ferns. It is all about the women as well as the Modi All Blacks this week. They've got their final game against of the San Diego Super Series, sorry, on Monday. But... They lost to France for the second time in less than a year. Is this a problem? Yeah, they did lose there. They started off really well, though, their series against Canada and USA, but they did fall short against France. France just dominated from the beginning. Their kick, um, kicking game was amazing. Number 15, Jessie Tremblay, uh, Tremblay, she's incredible. She was the 2018, I think, um, Women's Player of the Year, and she just brought her form into the game again. And their, their line speed, too, just, they were just up in the face, causing lots of turnovers um, for the Black Ferns, and they just couldn't um, handle it. We're so used to seeing the Black Ferns win everything, in actual fact, the World Cups, winning all the games in between. Is this now our bogey team, France? Oh, perhaps they might, they might feel like that. And I think, I mean, you don't want to give them... The, the girls won't want excuses, but, you know, they haven't played the Mighty Team Cup, so it's a new experience. We talk about experience going into the Māori All Blacks, but it's a new experience for them, you know, having to go there and, and play like that. But also the expectation now. They've got to realise now, you know, there's the expectation for them to win. So that in itself will help them out. But... Are they are the French the bogey team? I hope not, because they've certainly uh, been for, for a very long time the uh, the All Blacks sort of uh, bogey team. 
What about how he played the biggest hits earlier? There was a contender in there with Carla Horper getting absolutely smashed. Yeah, she um, managed to got her there real good, but knowing Carla, she literally got straight back up not long after that too and was again ready to go again. So good on her for getting back after that because that's a big hit. That was brutal, <laughs> brutal collision in there. Of course, they take on England on Monday. England undefeated in this tournament. So what can we expect from that game? Yeah, it was a really close game between England and France this morning. France dominated the first half, but England made the comeback and won by two points. England, their set piece is really amazing. The line-outs especially, and the control from Sarah Hunter at the back of the scrum when they're mauling is incredible. So, Black Ferns, they've just got to, you know, shape up, get that line speed on defence, try and shut them down early. Lucky we've got you here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really no, I was just going to say, yeah, about the aerial game as oh. a bit of a weapon, eh? Who's the yes, uh, Emily, Emily Scare at the centre, actually. She uh, played a bit of sevens as well, and like in sevens, they were kicking off to her all the time and a few crossfield kicks we saw there. Where does this leave us? Of course, we've got uh, the double header against Australia coming up before the All Blacks matches in Perth and, and in Auckland. Where does this leave us? And do we rely on Kendra Cox a wee bit too much? I don't think so. I think she's um, a solid player, no doubt. Cracked 50 tests for the Black Ferns. Only the second ever female um, Black Fern to do that behind Fial Famaseli. Um, this game, uh, maybe having the captaincy as well as the, the big test of 50 coming up, maybe there's a little bit of added pressure that she may not have um, stood up to, but no doubt she'll come out in this next game against England and be firing, and so will all the other girls. They won't let that loss against France let them down. So we can expect a big la backlash? Yeah, we sure can. <laughs> They'll yeah. come out. What have you been noticing, Mills, from watching the games? Oh, I've, um, I've enjoyed the skill set. Um, I think um, in terms of uh, the scrum and, and the English, they are really big. The Sarah at the back is, is, is huge, and for the captain as well. But I think that the Black Ferns will go into that game wanting to sort of speed things up because if you can get, get, get around the field and actually <coughs> play a bit more open, of an open game, I think that's where they'll bite them because they're very uh, forward orientated sort of team, the, the English. And if you sort of get stuck into that, then um, you know, they'll, they'll you know, perhaps get um, a little bit over, over us in that area. Any comments or? I just, <laughs> you, I just, you two have shut up shop. I just love the fact how far it's come, the, the women's game. Like, yeah. the, like Millsy mm -hmm. said about the skill set, like when you just click on and watch it, you, you wouldn't have tell the difference between the males and, and females playing it. It's so good to watch nowadays. It's, um, oh, it's cool. It, and it's only going to get better, which is the best thing about it. And in fact, on that note, the fact that they have this super series going on at the moment with some of the best women's teams in the world, I mean, it's pretty incredible compared to where they've come from, barely having a test all year. Yeah, it's huge. I think, you know, the women's game needs to continue to grow. I was probably heard something about that game being the third game in 10 days. Yeah. So in terms of <laughs> scheduling and stuff like that, I guess, yeah, could improve a wee bit more on that, but that's no, awesome anyway. But now I see we had some surprises and another special guest on the show. Very lucky to be joined by Music Royalty in New Zealand Kings, and he's going to perform his brand new single for us, Flex. Over to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yo. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Ha. You and me gotta solve it. Messing with my flex, be a problem. Revenue stream, I got dodges. But these fake friends, woo, get to drop it. What a champagne, woo, get to pop, pop, pop it. And champagne, get to pop it. Champagne, get to pop it. Day ones, they already on their way. Ha. Uno, dos, cuatro, tres, cinco, seis. Ha. Five, they already on their way. Yeah. Six figures, yeah, the team is getting paid. Uh, no joke, I do this every day, bro. Top gun, top man, King Rocker with the boss plan. Floss in, cream top on that ice in. She like playing, head game on ice brand. Go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, I'm just saying. Yeah, she go all out with it. Tell the bros I'm about to ball out with it. Her ladies roll through like they all about it. But we gon' see who really all about it. Ha. Who really all about it? Who really all about it? Who really all about it? One more time, hi, you and me gotta solve. Messing with my flex, be a problem. Revenue stream, I got options. But these fake friends, woo, get to drop it. What a champagne, woo, get to pop, pop, pop it. And champagne, get to pop. Champagne, get to pop. Day ones, they already on their way, hot. I guess we up now. 
Henny up, double cup, like what's up now? Get with a big business up front now. Shake bag, Ricky Bobby on the re up. Green puff, green clouds, like a seven up. Whoa, don't make me get the rings out. You don't want that. Couple calls to the bros, and it's bye bye. Whoop right for the tough guy, my mic. High five, alibi on shut eye. No light, no light, don't play with it. Play with it, them brothers all day with it. Celebrate, faded it, I hated it. Yeah, we eating like kings, all paid it. Self made, self made it. Ooh. Who really all about it? Who really all about it? Who really all about it? One more time, let me hear you say, you and me gotta solve it. Messing with my flex be a problem. Revenue stream, I got options. But these fake friends, woo, get to drop it. Water champagne, get to pop, pop, pop And champagne, get to pop it. Champagne, get to pop it. Day ones, they already on their way, bro. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. That was bloody fantastic. I'm sure you've got a bit of a sweat up just like after these guys have played a game of rugby or something. Yeah. The name Flip, though. <coughs> CJ loves flexing. Where, where, did you get from? where did you get the inspiration from for the song? It wasn't him, was it? No, nah, flex was like it's like the um the defense side of like somebody like you don't miss my flex. I got boys. Oh. I got oh, bros. Got I don't come there neither. And that song already has a quarter of a million views yeah, on Spotify man. after two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. It's done well, man. It's done really cool. So thank you to everybody who's been streaming. Who was your inspiration? Who'd you look at and think, yep, I want to be that. Man, oh, is music? Yeah, yeah, music. I'm gonna go to old school, man. Like Prince and Michael. Oh yeah. We're like my mum, like Sunday cleaning sessions in the room. Uh, Michael Jackson, Prince, Stevie Wonder, all the legends, man. Oh, yeah. Nice. You're out, you're, but your your first single, don't worry about it. Yeah. You know when you you went off to Fiji and you sort of filmed that. You went to a couple of nice resorts, I think, Kirsty and. Uh, and um, um, Izzy actually ended up at one of those resorts that, that's on. Bells is going this weekend. But, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you did that video all yourself on, on was that on your, all on your phone? All on the phone, man, yeah. I, I had an opportunity, um, a DJ friend of mine, General Lee, was over there, he's like, you want to come and open? I was like, yeah, of course. And it was just a great opportunity. The place, when you get there, bro, it's, it's beautiful. Awesome, man. And I was like, I'm going to take some videos, man. <laughs> Epic spot, eh? Hey? Yeah. Uh, and you're completely independent. Yes. You, you're not signed under a record. Nah. When you do everything yourself. Yeah. So, multi-talented. You literally take every box. Tell I just us got about no it. ears. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, yeah. So, how come? So, why are you? Why am I independent? Yeah. Yeah, it's that, man. Like, oh, man, I was just a tutu. I like to touch and do things. <laughs> and, like, people be like, sit there and just do what we say. And I was like, nah. I want to do what I want to do, so it's a it's a problem and a curse and a beautiful thing at the same time. But it keeps you busy as well. <coughs> 100%. But you've also got a um, young daughter. Yes. So, so how do you sort of um, juggle that sort of time? And, <laughs> because in the in the in the beginning you were just sort of working from home and yeah, things man. like that, right? How do you juggle that? God, that's a tough one. She's um she's learned how to be pretty self. She's independent herself. <laughs> just because I'm a woman. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she's independent. I'll be on the laptop and she'll be making my dinner now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's um she's lovely, man. She's she's a trooper. I love her. Nice. nice. And you're going on your first New Zealand tour, yes. I think, in August next month. We've got the locations and dates coming up. So whereabouts are you going? Uh, Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin, Todong. I did it! Oh, I don't yes. think I was gonna do that. <laughs> uh, oh, there they are there, yeah. Um, this is my first national tour. Hugely excited. Um, I can't wait, man. It's, it's been a long time coming, so. What are you looking forward to the most? I know Mills, you'll know starters bar quite well, won't you? Uh, Didn't he? <laughs> no, Kings, mate. This way, my, my boy's down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Come on through. Auckland, um, uh, Auckland show. That's the very last one, so I'll be looking yeah. forward to that. Um, tell us how we can get tickets. Yeah, so go to my website, www.kingsofficial.co.nz, or just go to Ticket Tech and they'll be up there. Yeah. One Come question through. I had after watching all like the backing, whatever you call it, video, I'm terrible with the terminology and the lingo, but where did you film that? That was. That, that was so cool. Yeah, that was all done in a, clip. in a restaurant. I was um, eating in a place in Albany. Gal, shout out. You guys owe me money now. Pay <laughs> up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, no, nah, I was eating there, and the place is beautiful. Like, you saw the, um, it was like Japanese art done by a Māori artist, I believe. Mm. And I was just like, man, can I, can I hire the place? And he was like, we've never had that done before. We've never had that asked. And they, they did it for real cheap and did it in five hours. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you guys for having me. New games this weekend, Māori All Blacks, Black Ferns. Who wins, each of you? Uh, the New Zealand teams. 
Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, we're all going to go for the New Zealand teams, aren't we? Of course, the Netball World Cup kicks off in Liverpool as well. We've got a team over there, so don't miss that on Sky Sport. And the Black Caps, they are into the Cricket yeah. World Ooh. Cup final. Unbelievable game. You cannot miss that as well. They were coming up on the home of Sports Sky. Thanks to these guys for coming on. Thank you so much, Shyla. Thank you, Nehi, as well. I think you're coming back on the show next week. We're at Marist. Thank you so much to Kings, and we'll see you guys next week.